Welcome once again to your weekly update from the city of New Hope. Time to chat with the mayor to find out what's new in the city and what is coming up. Welcome, mayor. How are you today? I'm just fine. The weather outside is absolutely incredible. Love the flower there showing the nice weather we're having. So let's talk yeah. about what's happening in the city of New Hope to keep people up to date. We begin with scattered site housing and community development. You have a couple of properties that you wanted to touch on and give residents an update. Well, the first one is 4965 Winnetka. That's where they had the live burn. And what they do is they very controlled. They set the house on fire in various stages. And then the firefighters get to practice putting it out. Really, really good training for them. So after that was done and everything's all cleared out, they put the hydro seed on the lawn and now the uh, surveyors have come out to survey it into two lots. So this is a long process. They'll start building, I, I would imagine, in the spring. Very good. Let's hop over to 5692 Boone Place. Again, a house that's getting a different address here as it's part of the process. How's this coming along? This is a different address. So it's the second house up from Bassett Road on Boone. Tore the house down. It's now going to face Boone Circle, so it has a different address. They're going to close on that lot on the 21st. So once that's closed, um, I would assume it's just going to sit there through the winter, and then they'll start actually building in the spring. Community development, very involved with the business community. We've got a couple of business updates to pass along for you here. The first is the business networking group. They've got a meeting coming up very early in the new year. Tell us more about that. Well, that's January 3rd at 2 o'clock. It'll be at City Hall, and it's being hosted by Rockin' Nutrition. Um, it's always fun to learn about these businesses, and you can get a lot of information at, that, at those meetings. And they just share stories of what's going on in their business. So they're really interesting. Speaking of businesses, here's a business that's coming to town, part of the Certificate of Occupancy Permits. Tell us more about the new business coming on 42nd Avenue. Well, it's called the Cake Body Club. And actually, they're doing some aerobic pole dance training. Uh, aerobic is the key word here. And some uh, personal training, boutique fitness studio. So it'll just be a, a fitness studio, basically, with a few twists to it. All right, we'll watch for that to come. Also, another business to keep you up to date on is over on Bass Lake Road and Winnetka. The gas station there looks like progress is happening. It is. It was a shell. Then they told me it was going to be a marathon. It's back to a shell. Uh, it'll actually be a gas station, but they're going to have quite a large convenience store there, too. So they're telling me that they think they'll be open by the end of the year. So they better hurry. They've only got a couple of weeks, but it, it certainly looks a lot better than it did. And there's a lot of activity going on there. Let's hop over to the police department. A couple updates here. And community service officer Calio has been very busy with meals and toys. Tell us more. He is so busy. So first of all, he delivered meals on wheels to residents in New Hope. And they just love the cops just love doing that. And the people getting the meals love it, too. And the other thing, all the toys that came in from the, the toy drive and from the Eisenberg's Toy Fest, those were de delivered to Near and Prism this last week. So the kids got the toy distribution, I believe, last Saturday. So the toys are where they belong now and under the trees of kids that really want them and need them. Yep. Christmas a little brighter for a lot here in the area. Let's talk about a job opening in the police department, the police clerk position. Give us some more information about that. Well, that's, you can go on to our website slash jobs and apply online for this police clerk position. You have until January 2nd at 8 a.m. So if you are you don't do it till 9 a.m., uh, they won't accept that. So they have to have a time and uh, to cut it off. So mm -hmm. it's really a nice job and it's a nice place to work. So if you're interested, go online and give you all the details that you need to apply for that. Very good. NewHopeMN.gov, as you see, slash jobs. You can find out more. Final note about the police department. There was a birthday party to celebrate here recently. Who had a birthday? Well, our canine, his name is Nix, and he turned three. And so Nix okay. had a birthday party complete with a hat and some sort of doggy birthday cake, I guess. He's been uh, with us since May with his handler. So he's he's part of the department and very coveted, by the way. All right, let's go to Public Works, talk a little bit about ash trees. We're going to talk about them here and also a little later in Park and Rec, and also the water tower. So tell us what Public Works has been up to recently. So with this beautiful weather, 
Uh, they're removing more of the ash trees along the boulevards so they can continue on to do that. I believe they're still uh, grinding out the stumps too. So this weather has really been helpful for them. Uh, the other thing that's happening is um, uh, they did a, I missed that one, they did the survey. And with mm -hmm. that survey, there was a lot of questions that people wanted management and public works to answer. Right. So they're answering those questions and that's complete. The last thing that happened is they cleaned the water tower, not the tower itself, not the inside of the water tower, but the building underneath the North Tower. But just to tell people that once in a while, we actually hire a firm that goes into the water tower and cleans the inside of the water tower. Have no idea how they do that. Sounds like a job I don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. We need to see some video of that at some point if we could. Okay, let's move ahead to Park and Rec. A lot happening here as we get towards the holidays. And there were some residents of New Hope that hopped on a bus and took a trip up north for some fun. What happened? <laughs> Well, the Tripsters went up north to Duluth. They visited the Gunchin Mansion in Bentleyville, and then, of course, came back. I believe it was just a one-day morning till night type trip. But they go on a lot of these trips, and you can sign up for that by calling the Park and Rec Department. So you'll get some sort of thing on your phone that tells you a trip is coming up and it's time to sign up. You can also go into that Park and Rec bulletin that we used to call In Motion. And there's a lot of stuff in there to tell you when the trips are and when when they you need to sign up and how much they cost. And this is what that bulletin looks like. So hop in there and look for all of this information and some special event information here as well. Like the one we're going to talk about now, there's something big going on at the ice arena coming up soon during the break time. So a lot of students will be looking for something to do. Well, December 27th, uh, they have a, a skate and movie day. So the skating is from 1030 to 1145, and that costs $5. If you don't have skates, you can rent skates for three bucks. If your skates are dull, you can get them sharp in there too. And the movie that's gonna happen after that at noon is free. And the movie is gonna be the Mario, Mario Brothers movie. I don't, I don't know anything about that at all, <laughs> but they tell me bring a blanket because it's kind of chilly, but they will be selling concessions there too. The kids will be able to tell us about the movie and all about Super Mario and all that's going on there. All right, back to the Emerald Ash Borer. And again, uh, Park and Rec involved with this as well with the City Forester. What are they doing right now to stay on top of this and really getting some benefit from the nice weather? Well, the Forester actually works through the Park and Rec Department. That's why they're mm -hmm. located there. But he's going out uh, identifying trees in the industrial area and in some residential areas too. Again, I'm, I'm telling people, do not spray a dot on your tree. He needs to do it because he needs to know where it is. We can't, we can't guarantee those trees will be down this winter yet, depending on the weather, but for sure they'll be down in the spring, and then you'll have a chance to pick out a tree to put on your boulevard. Here's something interesting that residents might not know. The council recently signed an agreement with a group that helps clean some of the parks and some of the facilities. It's a neat partnership. Help us understand that a little bit more. What's well, called sentence to serve. Mm -hmm. So if you're uh, naughty or did something wrong and you go to the court system, a lot of times they will assign you to do community service. Well, it's hard for them to find community service. So they have this program called sentence to serve. We hire sentence to serve and pay them. We, we don't pay the workers, we pay the program to bring them out in a van and to transport them and have an overseer with them. We use them to do a lot of those jobs. They're not made up jobs or jobs that have to be done. Things like they've uh, washed these, uh, the dasher boards and the glass at the ice arena. They'll go to the golf course and pick up tw twigs and sticks and they don't operate any equipment, but they'll shovel for us. There's lots of things that they do for us. Uh, last winter, I saw that they were chopping ice in front of some of the bus stops. Mm -hmm. So they keep real busy. We're, we're glad to have them do it. And they're actually good workers. Another neat partnership behind the scenes at the city. Let's go to the golf course now. And it doesn't look as beautiful as it looks behind you, but I, I know there's no snow yet, but there's activity happening inside the clubhouse. Who's using that right now? Well, there were three holiday parties over the weekend. One Friday, one Saturday, and one Sunday. And you're right, the golf course isn't quite that green behind me, but it's still sort of green. That's why I had to take the picture of the snow down 
because there isn't any snow there. And occasionally we'll see a golfer out there golfing. Mm -hmm. And they are working on the trees as well. So again, they're getting the benefit of this nice weather to get some of those ash trees out. Well, they had to quit. They had to quit taking down the ash trees because the weather was starting to change. But now it came, kind of came back. So they're back there. This company is back there now this week. And they'll be taking down some of the ash trees when there's no golfers on there. I don't know that they're going to be able to grind out the stumps again. Uh, nobody thought it would be this nice this late. Mm -hmm. And so in a lot of cases, they let all their seasonal workers go. Right. So they don't have the, the team to come out and do that. Let's hop over to the ice arena once more to give you an update of something that just happened. We talked about during the winter break, there's going to be a lot of kids there, but there were a lot of kids there just recently. What happened? Well, last Friday, they had the skate with Santa. There were 100, 120 kids there. Now, I'm not sure if they were naughty kids who had to explain to Santa before Christmas came, or if they were really good kids and wanted to make sure Santa had their list and wanted to know what they wanted. But 120 kids on that ice sheet of ice has really got to be fun. And I did see some pictures of Santa talking to some of the kids, and Santa was skating. Fantastic. All right. Speaking of skating, we've got the local high school teams at the arena, and this is just a great opportunity for residents of New Hope to go over and see some great hockey. Tell us about the upcoming games for the boys and girls. So these are high school games. Uh, they'll be on Tuesday and, and Wednesday. Uh, the JV is at five o'clock for both girls and boys. The boys or the uh, varsity is at seven o'clock. I think the girls are playing Tuesday and the boys are playing Tuesday and Wednesday. But you can call the ice arena and get the, uh, the information on who they're playing if you're interested in doing that or just go online and see that. A lot of things that happen at the ice arena are sponsored by the Armstrong Cooper Youth Hockey Association. Mm -hmm. They're sponsoring that free movie that they're doing. And they're, they're also really involved with the, these two high school teams. Excellent. Another great partner of the city. All right. A couple of final notes to pass along here. One is about you recently being very busy in the kitchen. This needs some explanation, <laughs> baking lots and lots of cookies. Well, we have about 100 people on staff. That's including the public works and the police and the people in the build in the building. So everybody gets a dozen cookies. So I have to bake 1,254 cookies. However, four of the cookies were eaten by somebody. I'm not sure who. So I brought them all home, packed them up in dozen, a dozen in a bag, and we delivered them on the day I baked on Tuesday and Wednesday. So they're all in their little boxes and being enjoyed by lots of lots of employees. Very nice. And a final note to pass along, there's still an opportunity to help out some people in need at City Hall and at the police station. What can we drop off and how does that work? Well, you can always drop off toys or coats at the police department and you can drop off food at, uh, at the other door, which is the, the City Hall door. Now, even though they've delivered the toys to Near, I know that both Near and Prism have birthday rooms. So those toys will go into their birthday rooms so when a child has a birthday coming up, you can go into one of those those birthday rooms at the food shelves and pick out all the stuff you need for a birthday party. Cake, frosting, candles, a gift or two for the child. It's really a nice thing to, to do. So the gifts are still appreciated. The coats, if more come in, they will just deliver those to the Salvation Army who gives them out to people that are in need. So, and of course, food is also always food and cash at the... Uh, front desk is always appreciated for the food shelves. Very good. All right. And the website, once again, newhopemn.gov. If you need the address or need more information about some of the things we've talked about, certainly go there. And also keep your eye out for this. And hopefully it's in your home and you've got it on the table somewhere. All of this information as well about events coming up in the city on the city's website as well. Stick with us. We've got to look at some of the events coming up in the city in just a second. But Mayor, thanks once again for your time. Happy holidays to you, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Thanks, Dave. Happy holidays to you and all the folks out there watching.
Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.